Hello everyone and welcome to Sunburned Albino Plays Bloodborne. We're here in Yahadar Ghul, Unseen Village. And thank God we're actually gonna be able to make some progress. Ah, oh, it feels good. It's a good feeling to know that good things are coming my way. I'll just take this bloodstone chunk. Thank you. And then if we go down here, we'll find another item. I don't remember what it is necessarily. But we'll also find a dude in a chair. What the hell? Why was my axe not out? Okay. I I got okay, that's fine. Why not? I don't need to attack with a weapon. No, that's how, that's how badass I am. I can just karate chop him to death like I did that wolf. Remember when I killed that wolf with my karate chop? I didn't actually, but like, you know, just go with me on it. <sighs> do, 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 do. Let's see. I don't know if we die by jumping down there. I've never tried it before. I know that is a shortcut. I don't know... It's a big ass shortcut, but then you don't get the key to the upper cathedral ward if you don't actually go through that where you're supposed to go in this area. So I guess we should uh, do it naturally. Okay. Now, given that all these guys respawn, I find it pertinent to run the hell by them all. But what's not supposed to happen is me get hit by bullets, so... Alright. And then when she dies, that stuns them... ...for a bit. So we can... ...you know, take the fight back, get a little bit of our advantage back there. And now when I kill them, they will stay dead! And that is very important to me when it comes to whether or not it's worth killing somebody. Look at all these guys. I want to kill them all. I do. I do believe that they should all be killed. Because of the items that they drop. Come on. Come on, asshole. Let's go. Now, you do want to watch out because the reason you have to run down the staircase and not just like, you know. It's because there's an amygdala right there and it will sweep its hand like halfway up the stairs. So you want to be careful of that. I guess I'll just let those guys lie. Because this is another one of my very least favorite areas. Because I'm really not a fan when enemies respawn. It makes killing them pointless. The Mensis ritual must be stopped. Indeed, I do agree. And that bolt blood gem is not going to help me, unfortunately. Because I have bad arcane. My own decision. But, uh... But not f fiddling with Arcane makes me able to raise all my other stats a lot higher. Okay. Oh yeah, you raise so they come behind me because you're an asshole. I understand. Good one. That one is also good. Come on. That's more like it. These guys are wicked strong! Okay, it finally did. Uh, it will respawn unless I kill the bell lady. And boy, do I plan to. Alright, but first there's air, which I don't remember what that does. It is obviously a rune. Alright. Alright, you're dead, which is gonna stagger these guys. And you apparently were not quite dead. But at least I not was able to knock you off. And that does help. 
Because that guy does a ton of damage. Now let's open the door from this side. So in case we die, we can just go through that door and kill the witch from behind. And then we don't have to go through that whole song and dance again. This area is very quick shortcut oriented. Oh my god. Yeah, get out of here. Okay. Now what do we have down this way? Ah, that is correct. Okay. So then we would go up to the left there. There must have been something in the food that all these witches ate, because they're all, like, fucking throwing up or something. Go away. Because we need to drop down here. I'll take that frenzy cold blood. And then we need to get in here before... Ow. Ah! Why do you not stagger? No, no. Go away. Okay, this is a problem. I don't understand. Stagger. There we go. Guess you just gotta do it a little earlier. And you're not dead, but now you're dead. And I will kill the witch that respawns you. Alright, good stuff happening there. I replaced the moon rune with uh, the eye rune, by the way. Uh, so that we would have more... ...discoveries. Let's see, he's right there. I think I can hit him. Yes! I like that. Oh, by all means, come. You can't get in here, so... As you can see. I don't know why that one's so much easier to kill than the other ones were. Maybe they get, uh, like, buffed while they're... You know, the witch also buffs them, as well as respawns them. Alright, there's Tiny Tenitris, which is a... spell that is not worth the amount of Quicksilver bullets that it consumes. That's usually the case with most spells. So that's why I think if they want Arcane to be more viable, they're gonna have to make the spells it relates to a bit less shitty. And that should accomplish their goals quite well. Okay. Now this is the part that gets a little dicey in terms of I might die. But I'm going to try really hard not to die. Oh, jeez. Oh, crap. They're all coming. No, no. Go away. Okay. Okay, I like that. Uh, they will not respawn, because they are also connected to that witch. Unfortunately, we still got all these guys. Throwing Molotovs and freaking out and whatnot. The reason you don't want to just go out there is because that Amygdala, it will do its laser attack. And it's really not a good idea to get hit by it. And this is where we're going to have to start using our gun. Yeah. Alright, that's good. Fortunately, there are still more of them over here, so we gotta aggro them. Do I have something that I can throw? I know I, I don't want poison. Well, let's, yeah, let's use pebbles then. Why not? Over here. I 
I'm not a fan of wasting all my bullets like that, but they're not really giving me much choice when they refuse to move. Oh, you see me. I saw you shift position a little bit there. There we go. Okay, but there's still that one right there that I can see. You're not really following. Okay, run. Okay, now everything is out of the way, so a safe zone from this laser attack is right here. Oh, just kidding, there's another Molotov thrower. And I feel like it's only by bad wall physics that this is working. God. Nope, get out of there. Okay. Let's take this slow. I'll walk up and shoot her the next time the laser goes. Go now. Okay. Now. Go! Just run all the way down the stairs, hug the right side, and that's how you get past that. Alright, thank god. Uh, we've got ourselves a lamp fire. Right in here. So let's go ahead and light it. But first, I have to get you. Oh, don't be like that. There we go. Yeah, two bloodstone chunks. So if you don't want to have to respawn and kill that guy, kill him before you light the lamp. All right. I am running extremely low on supplies, as you can see. And this is not a good time to not have a lot of supplies. All right, you guys are dead. Let's get you. Ow, you weren't supposed to hit me. But whatever. Come on. Yes. <sighs> okay, you're dead. Drop a blood vial for me, please. Shining coins. Who wants those? They're just for making arenas in PvP. Nobody... Nobody wants that in the base game. Blood vial? Oh, goody. Thank you. Oh, an eight... Oh, that's so good. That is so good. Okay. I'm almost guaranteed to die here at least once. But the deal is that there are three NPC hunters, and you have to try to kill as many of them as possible. Now, there is a way to sneak up on one of them, and that's why I'm going to do that right now. That guy's looking at me, but he's not going to aggro. Okay, I need some kind of paper. Do I not have any? I have no fire or bolt paper. That's great. That is great news all around. And you didn't visceral attack him, and I can't imagine why. All right, that's tiny to nitrous, and it does no damage. Well, it does it does damage to me. It does none to them. If you're wondering what that was, one of those guys has a cannon, as you can see, and is totally fine with being a cheap bastard about it. So, uh, yeah, watch out for that. Does the cannon one-shot you? Yes, yes, it does. I know I didn't have full health, but if I did have full health, uh, I would still be dead because the cannon one-shots you. It does. Indeed, it does. It's a great... We're having a great time. And we're gonna have a great time throughout this area. Mm. 
Yeah, F off. Please? Okay. Uh, okay. How about attack I can parry? That was not it, apparently. How about an attack I can parry? How about this guy wasn't supposed to aggro? Right, beast. How about an attack I can parry? I don't know if I made that clear before, but damn sure if I'm not... Damn if I'm not making it clear now. And that guy also hit me, and that's really sad. He's got a sharp-ass sword, as you can see. No, F off. That's gonna hit me as well. I wasn't planning on wasting all my blood vials in this area, but it appears that that's what's gonna go on anyway. So how about you give me an attack I can parry? An attack I can parry. Oh, you bastard, just do the... It never does the visceral attack. It's always the damn stairs' fault. Whenever there's a slight bit of elevation, visceral attacks tend to go, Nah, we don't want to activate. So, uh, we're gonna have a great time. These guys need to... Why do you know that I'm here? Oh my god, they're all coming. Nope. Not, not gonna happen. Nice, nice cannon shot. Let's go, bitches. Come on, bitches. Bitches! This rally thing is working out for me right now, but, uh... Are you fucking kidding? I am borderline speechless, but unfortunately my job dictates that I must continue to form words. Since when is that a one-hit kill? I feel like the game was updated just to fuck with my YouTube series. Uh, it appears to be working very well. So here's what happens now, in case you're wondering. Uh, we skip them. Entirely. We don't have to fight them. We can easily go around them. I want to fight them. More specifically, I want to kill them. How are you not dead after the second shot? How was this guy not dead? Where the hell did you go? Come here. It's a nimble little dog. Oh my goodness gracious. Come here, before the sword guy decides to aggro. Oh, did I do it too late again? I suppose that's fair. Good one. Oh, didn't take advantage of that one. That's on me. Yeah, F yourself.
usually what you can do... Where the hell... Oh my god. Everything is just wrong right now. I'm gonna do it the cheap way. There's a cheap way to kill the first guy. And I'm gonna do it. <clears throat> Out of my way. Now that that's done, the other guys are going to chase after me. But that's okay. Uh, get out the door, please. Because if you run fast enough away from them, they will lose aggro. If you don't run fast enough away, they will not lose aggro, and they will chase you all the way up here, as you saw before. But at that point, I wasn't really trying to lose them. I just wanted to fight them up here. And it was working, until I got hit by a Tenitra spell that I definitely didn't think one-shot me. Okay. Uh, one of them. All of them. I think maybe they can't come in here? Is that true? I know they can attack me through there. Okay, this is the greatest thing ever, then. Alright, don't hit them with the second hit, because it doesn't go through walls. Where'd they go? What the shit?! Oh god, I have no blood vials, which makes this really a pain. Ah, uh, there's still a way. Let's get rid of the pebbles. For the poison knives. Which, by this point, you want to start saving for the Mikolash fight, but... It appears that that's not going to be the case anymore. Okay, you're poisoned. You can't tenitrous me through the wall, thank god. That poison does no damage. God damn it! Why are you able to do that. Yusefka's blood vial. I'm gonna poison you too. No, I'm sorry, but you do not get to do it through the wall. Wait for him to die. He keeps trying to hit me through the wall if I get close enough. Die. One of them died. Two of them died. That means the third one is mine to kill. Clawmark, great. Madman's knowledge, not worth it at all. The problem is that the third one is, you know, he does have a cannon. I can't believe I didn't get those blood echoes last time, by the way. So it's a good thing that I went back to get them. Okay. Oh, hello! Go away. Come on. When I said go away, I meant, like, follow me out here. Because why are you stuck there? Excuse me, sir. Oh, there you <laughs> Yeah. Ah, nice. Hmm. 
Yeah, you are able to hit me there. But for some reason, are unable to walk through this door. That's unfortunate because the pillars are making this like I can't hit you. There we go. There's one. There we go. Don't you dare shoot your cannon at me at the place where I'm the most vulnerable. Why are you leaving? Come here. Yeah, seriously. No! Where'd you go? Why does this guy have to be the pain? The only one... No, well, I guess not the only one anymore. But the only one that is, like, really good at... You're walking backwards, so I don't know why... Alright, but we poisoned you. And now I would like to finish you off. Yep, that's a cannon shot. Whoa, there. Oh, you like that, don't you? Think you're the only one that could do strong attacks? Well, I actually hit you with mine. Yes, sir. Many Quicksilver bullets is very nice. Would I have preferred health? Yes, but I uh, can't always get what you want in that department. But that's totally fine because they are now all dead and it's only took like 50 years. All right, let's go down here first. We've got some werewolves to kill. Come on. Oh, good. God. These guys are bulky as hell. Ah, but it's okay. We got twin bloodstone shards. Sometimes they drop bloodstone chunks, and that's why it is worth killing them. Uh, but of course, also sometimes they do not. Which is why sometimes... Well, it's always worth killing them just for the blood echoes. I love those chunks, by the way. And there are many more to be found down here. Which is why it is important to come here. What's... What is this door again? Oh, that leads... that's right. Okay. So yeah, you could realistically skip the hunters if you came down here and fought this werewolf and went out that door instead. But that's only if you open that door uh, when the Hippogain Gal with the early version of this area if you let the bag lead to kill you. So... yes. Um, what was I gonna do now? Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta go all the way down. All the way down. Where there is another werewolf. And it will might be maybe be a pain in the ass. Tell you what, let's shoot it. Shoot it with a cannon. Oh, we like that shit, don't you? Ooh, that's a visceral attack. Does good damage. More twin bloodstone shards is good. And if we make our way down here, we will find more bloodstone chunks. And there aren't even any enemies. How nice is that? Super nice, in my opinion. Bloodstone chunk two. I think I've got like seven of those now. I'm going to need 13 to fully upgrade my axe. All right. And yes, this would be where you would fight the Dark Beast Parl if you didn't already do it. But I already did it. So thankfully we don't have to fight him again. It would be kind of fun to fight him again if he stayed the same difficulty. What with my imposing strength now and whatnot. What the hell noise was that?
there's sounds that are freaking me out. Ah, who is that? Who is that and what do you want? Oh, is it you? I see you up there. I think. Probably not, actually. Nah, but whatever. Okay, let's keep going this way, then. Uh, the pigs have been replaced with these guys. And these guys are annoying because they don't stagger consistently. And that's a problem. Matter of fact, they don't stagger... ...in one hit from basically any weapon. As far as I know. I know they don't stagger from the big Ludwig Greatsword, so I don't know why they would for the axe. And there's nothing over here. Okay, but I do... There is a shortcut to be unlocked over here. And that unlocks a short... A lesser known shortcut. Why am I going this way? Why would I turn back? Just because it's a kind of a, it's a dead end, is that why? I'd like this door to be open. It's a little faster. That's not the shortcut, by the way. <sighs> okay, 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 let's go. I'd very much enjoy if one of these guys decided to drop a blood vial. I'd, there's just, you know, it would just be nice. Just a nice thing that would happen. And yeah, these guys are definitely buffed when the witch is alive. Thanks for your bullets. And zombie pile down there. You're dead. Nothing back there. All right, now there's a hole right there. And if you jumped into there, you would get to a much faster way to the boss if, you know, that was your prerogative. But now that we've unlocked this shortcut, I'm not going to go through it because there's still lots to be done down here. But it is a way to avoid a lot of these zombie creatures. Okay, they, he's aggro to me, but he probably won't be for long. Once I come down this way... Oh, wait a second. I gotta go up here, kill these guys, and pick up a spoil. You weren't supposed to hit me with that shot. Like, I thought I was... out. I was beyond that wall. But, apparently not. And also, apparently there's no item here, because I must have picked it up the other way. I suppose that's fine. I suppose that that is all right. And yeah, there's a bunch of those guys right there, and even one more that you think there is, but isn't. Or actually, you think there isn't, but is. And since you can't visceral attack these guys, it is much better if I use the two-handed. All right, thankfully we've got the range, the range advantage on these guys. Bloodstone chunks. Ooh, and lots of bolt paper is nice. Okay. And now to kill this guy. There he is. Okay, one of them aggroed. Kill that one quick so I can focus on this one. Yep, as, as mentioned, they don't stagger. And he's not quite dead. If I had, like, plus 1% more attack on this thing, that would be real nice. More bloodstone chunks. They're really giving them to me, and uh, boy, do I appreciate it. Alright. Now, it's impossible to hit one without aggroing them both, so we might as well hit both. Good one. Alright, that one is dead. 
This one is next. It's not that difficult with the axe. Okay, now there's damp blood gem. All those blood gems are for specific enemies, and that's why I don't like equipping them. I want attack that is going to work on all enemies. And of course, if you've been to the Hippogean Gal, you've already picked up all these items, because this is the same exact area, just a harder version, but still like the same universe. So, uh, yes. And thank god I still got one blood vial. I'm not going to be fighting the boss in this episode. I will get there, probably, and then, like, go back, get supplies, and then go fight the boss. But getting supplies is the part that will not be on, done on camera. Because you don't need to see that. You don't need to see me traveling Central Yarnum, acquiring blood vials. Everybody knows how that works. And it is not super fun to watch. Okay. I'm a really big fan of the eye rune because it makes enemies drop rare weapons or rare stuff a lot more. And now, some of these guys shoot, as you can see. Like, that one is going to shoot right there. And what you want to do here, because I it took me a little while to figure out exactly how... Go away. Frenzy Cold Blood 8. If you run fast enough, then the zombie stops, to a stops aggroing to you, and then you've just got a wolf to deal with. And the wolves are bulky, but uh, you can hit them just fine. Come on, you. Do an attack that I can block. Okay, got my health back for that. Feeling good. Oh, shit in my mouth. Nope. Just die from a bullet. That's more like it. We are now out of blood vials. Which means I cannot afford to get hit anymore. And if I do... I gotta take advantage of that rally. Oh, six? Oh, could not have come at a better time. No, indeed, could not have. Alright. Will they respawn? Yes. Do I know where the witch is? Yes. Is she this way? No, but... We are going to come here and visceral attack this wolf. Okay, dead. That's what I like to see. Twin bloodstone shards are elementary at this point. I need the chunks. But that blood gem is very good. That's like plus 18% attack, I think. And that has got to go on my axe. Alright, so now that that's there, you don't go out the door that's down there, because you end up being in between, like, three different zombie guys. But instead, you come over here, ignore that dish for now, and kill Bell Lady. Kill Little Miss Belichick. I don't even watch sports, I just recognize a good pun when I see one. Okay, and now... Now we enter, we inspect the bath. Because the bath teleports you to the area that is accessible via the shortcut in the elevator. So now you can just get here whenever you want. I mean, you could have done that already, but now you can get here without, you know, being afraid that you missed anything, because obviously you've been through this area now. There's just a couple dogs and a couple wolves, and they are very good at giving you... the blood gems, or the bloodstone chunks and whatnot. So yeah, that would be where you would fall. Yeah, get out of here. I ain't wasting blood vials on a no dog. Oh, you! 
It's very important that I kill you before you enter the wolf's domain. Two bloodstone chunks. Very nice. And yeah, I definitely need some more, some better blood gems. Because these guys just do not take enough damage. I want to calculate the difference between using the two-handed attack and using the one-handed plus the visceral attack, and obviously the one-handed plus the visceral attack does more damage. One bloodstone chunk there, twin bloodstone shards there. Hanging on for dear life there. Looks like you'll be perpetually dead. That window doesn't do anything, but if it did and I found out just now, that would be... That would be quite something. Another reason I'm not going to fight the boss yet, even though, well, now I do have enough blood vials to make it work. But the reason I'm still not going to fight the boss is because I want to go home... Home. Go to the Hunter's Dream and uh, reinforce my axe to hell. I can fortify it probably not twice, but once. And then also equip that blood gem. So now that uh, we do that, we'll come over this way. Climb down this ladder. And, uh... Also, we could probably level up twice. I'm a really big fan of endurance in this game, because it doesn't... It keeps leveling up by a good amount each time. In fact, it, even, it levels up by more the more you do it. And that's exactly how it should be. So I really do appreciate that. It was going up by two at the beginning, now it goes up by as much as four sometimes. Boy, do I like it. Now, let's... Hide from that guy. So we can get the item that's not there, but over here. Madman's Knowledge. And then the boss is just through there. So, let us Bold Hunter's Mark. Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. Fortify our weapon, level up a bit, and then in the next step, the next episode will begin with me demolishing what I put as the second easiest boss in the game. That was an interesting scream to just start with. But, uh, let's return to the Hunter's Dream. The pistol is a quicker draw than the blunderbuss, allowing for speedier responses to attacks. Yes, indeed. It's true. Okay. Fortify, first things first. Five of fifth. Damn. We only need three more to be able to upgrade it again. Oh, just kidding. We totally can upgrade it. Oh, that's great. That is great news. But we get, but we barely can't upgrade our cannon, which is unfortunate. But uh, that's just how it works out. Hunter Axe plus nine is going to be really fun to uh, do this now. All right, physical attack up 8%. Blunt attack up 12%. And we're going to... Oh, but it's a triangle. God damn it. So we can't. So we can't switch that one. But we can do this one. I think, but I think, like, because blunt attack, 12%. I'd rather 134, 174, 160, 160. I'll do this. It increases it by a good amount. And then we still don't have any good triangles. Unfortunately. Blunt attack up 12%. Sharp blood skill scaling plus 12. Too bad I don't have any skill. You upgraded strength scaling by a bunch. That would be good. 
There's, yeah, the beast hunter and kin hunter stuff. This is plus nine, so why are the attribute bonuses so terrible? Still just like C and D. You would think it would go up a lot more by that point. It's really unfortunate. Uh, since I just reinforced it, I don't have to repair it. And with 61,000... Because it scales so terribly, like, upgrading strength doesn't really help it. I'd rather start upgrading Blood Tinge. So our cannon does good, but also I'd rather upgrade Endurance so we can do more attacks and have better resistances. And have more physical defense. Ha, ah, tough call, tough call. Blood tinge. Blood tinge. Strength. Strength doesn't help. Endurance it is, because I like seeing even numbers and numbers that end in zero, which are even numbers. Oh, but I gotta look at uh, what the hair rune is, because I forgot. I think it has something to do with... where's it at? Air. More blood echoes from visceral attacks, so uh, yeah, it's shitty. All right, um, we'll save our 9,000. That's going to do it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If it did, please be sure to uh, like, share, and subscribe, and whatever. And I'll see you guys next time.